Hi, so my name is Josh Kelly, and uh, my topic that I find fascinating is personality psychology, uh, and specifically the cognitive functions, uh, which uh, were invented by Carl Jung, and he is a very well-known psychologist who had this theory about how the brain works, uh, and this transformed over time into something known as Myers-Briggs, uh, which were they essentially uh, uh, simplified his system and they they took the cognitive functions and they organized them into what's called a function stack and this function stack was then given letters and then with these letters they simplified it further into 16 different personality types so most people have heard of this you know Myers and Briggs Myers Briggs uh, 16 personality types that's all based on Jung's work that's all based on cognitive functions and that's what I'm interested in so I have one minute so um, let's see I'm an INFJ I've been studying this uh, the cognitive functions uh, since uh, sophomore year of high school so it's been about five years for me now and I just it's to the point where I can naturally read people because you don't need to take a test to understand how someone's brain works. You can tell by the way that they communicate, their hand gestures. You can, you can, there's a lot that people say non-verbally. Uh, eyes, the way people move their eyes around, um, the way they m motion their hands. Uh, and then there's a million subcategories. There's sexuality, there's preference function some people of the same type might seem similar but they have different subtypes so they're completely different so it's a very complex system I'm trying to keep this under three minutes I'm about to hit two um, and yeah I'm very passionate about this as you can tell um, what else can I say um, it's I love meeting new people I'm very passionate about that and it's I, I love analyzing these new people when I meet them because it's sort of like figuring out their types is very interesting to me for many reasons. One of those reasons being that there's certain types that are very compatible with each other and there's certain types that aren't. So as an INFJ, I get along very well with ENFJs, with ENTPs, but there's some types like ISTJs that are a little bit trickier to get along with, but everyone has an ideal match. Um, it's, again, I'm at two minutes and I'm trying to end it at three. There's so much I could talk about, um, but this is what I'm enthusiastic about. Um, I think I kind of covered what I needed to. Uh, this is it. So I'm hitting three minutes, but uh, I'm looking forward to a, uh, a fun uh, uh, semester with all of you.